morning. It's uh, September 3rd or 4th. I think it's the 4th, September 4th. And uh, we haven't had much rain in about 10 weeks here in Stell. And uh, as you can hear, it's raining. So uh, our yard's been very dry. The rain gardens, of course, have been bone dry. Uh, we've got enough clay in our soil that when it gets really dry, it cracks. We've got cracks so deep, I can put a garden hose in them and turn it on and the water never surfaces. So this is the first really good rain we've had. I think we'll uh, go take us some pictures see how these rain gardens are doing. Here it is. Look at the water. Oh my gosh. It's been so dry, it's hard to believe this much water is flowing down this pipe. The water is coming right down here and you can see it's filling up this first rain garden. I'll show you what I mean about these cracks. Here's one of these cracks right here. And see how the water is just flowing into it? If there's so much water here, that crack is going to fill up pretty soon. And when it does, it'll move on to the next crack. It hasn't even begun to flow down uh, the swale yet. We're still putting in the first inch or so water. This rain garden is an inch lower than the rest of the beds so this will get a good watering before it runs down. There it is, it's all full now. These uh, cracks are so deep, I guess as they go down about four feet. That's the nature of a clay soil. You know if you had a light loamy soil or sandy soil, they don't do this. They don't tend to crack like this. You gotta have clay and it's the clay contracts and um, you know it just there's nothing to fill the gap so it cracks. And tracks and cracks. It takes a lot of water to fill these rain gardens. I'm just guessing um, in the uh, first flush after the ground has been this dry we can probably hold 3,000 gallons of water in these three little rain gardens. 3,000 gallons is quite a bit of water.